All right, what we've got here is a line running down the property line, about 10 feet off of a, uh, 15 feet off of a drop off that heads down to the creek, right? And, and somewhere going down that drop off is our property line. We're gonna put a tiny house about where the camera's sitting, right? And I've got a guy coming next week to fix my road. He's gonna dig out for a root cellar slash storm shelter. He's gotta have some extra dirt. And since we're going to build some buildings down, you know, facing the road here where you see these tires, he needs a place to put some dirt. So we set these tires out to let him know to put the dirt in the center of these U's. Now what these U's are, they're going to be a foundation for a variety of buildings. And the foundation, instead of digging in down under the frost line and putting in gravel and cement and all that sort of stuff, traditional construction methods, we're going to use tires. Because tires are so wide, you can get by without having to dig as deep, right? Um, and so we're also experimenting with uh, cutting out one end of the sidewall versus, you know, normally when you do earthship, you know, ram tire construction, you're using the regular tire as it is and you're pounding in dirt sideways. And they say it takes about 40 minutes per tire and a lot of labor. Well, I stumbled upon a, a, an experiment a guy did, or, or a, 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 yeah, an experiment a guy did in college where he built uh, buildings, walls, traditionally using ram earth and then cutting one of the sidewalls out and then he put shear stress on it, basically he hooked it to a car and he pulled on it with a car. And you do give up a little bit of strength by cutting one sidewall out, but instead of 40 minutes a tire, it's about 10 minutes a tire, a lot less labor intensive, and it is still stronger than traditional building methods. So what we're going to do, and, and we have to come back, we'll show you how we're gonna make everything square. Right now, it's just a, a placeholder. We haven't even cut out all the sidewalls. But what we're going to do is we're gonna make basically a 10 foot by 10 foot uh, interior space about four tires high and then we'll come back and we'll you know cob and cord wood and waddle and daub and you know co you know adobe all sorts of the different types of construction methods as we build these buildings to see and sort of experiment what we like the best right and we're gonna do a dog trot so we've got a building here we're gonna have a dog trot a covered area like for an outdoor kitchen we've got another building we're gonna do another outdoor area like for a blacksmith shop and then another area. What we're once we're gonna we're gonna build all the foundations at one time. Gonna come in and timber frame everything and put it all under roof. And then we're gonna come back and fill in the uh, you know the upper half of the structure. That's the plan. Plans change though. We'll have to see. I guess it depends on when uh, when James gets tired of helping me fill tires. But stay tuned for all the cool stuff at Dole Homestead. We're gonna have lots of cool new projects that you haven't seen before. Thanks.